cruiser by power play. It's got a strong metal bodied waggle step. A little bit intermittent. Back just comes off. D44X. There. I tell you what, this cable is an absolute pain. That's got such a nice action on it now. So, welcome to 2G Productions, and today we're going to look at some retro gear. This is one of the reasons the channel was set up, to look at some vintage electronics, old computers, old consoles, and we're going to start with this, the Cruiser Power Play, or rather, the Cruiser by Power Play. So this was released in 1986, so this is, for me, well after the time that I used to play on home computers. Um, and it was a very popular joystick. Um, a lot of people reckon it was their favorite. I don't know, what do you think? Maybe leave a comment and say which one you think's better. So, this I heard about due to an Ashens video. Or is it Ashen? Ashen or Ashens? Or is it Ashen by Ashens? Or is it Ashens by Ashens? Anyway, I'll leave the link of that video in the description because it's, it's an excellent video as all Ashens videos are. So, this was available in all black uh, with a blue body with a transparent body and with a black body and red parts to it and then this truly 80s in fashion inspired design the um, pastel colors i think i think this part's meant to be blue but it's gone gone a bit of a funny color really it's sort of different to the rest of the green yeah kind of but that's it looks more blue in the bit that's hidden so uh, it's got a strong metal bodied waggle stick it's got micro switches it's got uh, these four suckers that hold it quite nicely to a table and allow you to wiggle it around and you've got two fire, fire buttons they do exactly the same thing but it's good if you're right-handed or left-handed so that's a nice little feature no auto fire on this version so you've got a very long 65 inch 165 centimeter cable so you can move well away from your home computer or games console that you're plugged into and it's got a d9 style atari connector and atari pinouts on this now this was a ebay purchase and you never quite know what you're going to get with an ebay purchase and when it arrived it'd been quite minimally protected in its packaging and i actually thought it was broken because i couldn't move this at all and it made some horrible noises. So I took the decision to pull it all apart and I cleaned all of this this area up and and I've lubed it all and now it's much better. It makes a bit of a bit of a creak but it's nothing compared to what it was like. Uh, the other thing I haven't mentioned is this this collar here can twist round so hidden here are there's three settings one two and three and by turning this whole collar around you can have this so it's easily wiggleable or hard to wiggleable so let's try moving it down to oh hang on let's see if i can do that so you've got this bit rotates so that's down to one and so it's got a bit of self wiggling so it's quite easy to move about 
and I can move it up to two and it's it's got more resistance and then I could move it to three then it's quite stiff and hard to move but it depends what suits you as a player really I'm guessing that will probably be a two for me now when I took it apart to check whether it was broken or not inside because the noise it made made me think it probably was um, I wasn't very impressed with the clickiness of the mark switches and just about here some of them it's just not very nice so I put together a little test circuit which is over here and it just puts on various LEDs I'll switch the battery on will help got various LEDs for different movements that for the fire button so I'm going to connect these up to to this with the appropriate pin out which I will display on the screen in case it helps someone and then we can give it a test and see how well the buttons actually work and the switches work okay so I've wired this circuit up to here and I'm going to try it out so fire button works okay you can see this light coming on sorry this one here and then we've got these four are wired up to the joystick movement that kind of works that's A little bit intermittent. So is that. That's not too bad. They're a little bit iffy to be honest. So that was the decision that I came to a few days ago about it being iffy. So went online and searched up and these popped up as recommended micro switch replacements and these are DX44 D44X there so I've got a nice little click to them and they're brand new and these ones are probably I don't know, 40 years old. So, shall I take it apart? Do you want to see inside one? Well, yeah, of course you do. I seem to take apart most things that I get. So, it's very easy to take apart. There's only three screws, no horrible plastic clips. Uh, let's pop this apart. I've already had it apart once, so. Smash my arm against the tripod. Turn that off for the moment. Right, so that's those three switches off comes off uh, you've got some nice little holes there for the uh, switch pillar supports to go into so it's held top and bottom this bit provides uh, an area so that the joystick can only travel that far it moves around in there so you can't over move it and smash the mark switches up unless you try very hard and then inside so you've got uh, these are the the fire switches and when you do fire movement it actually twists this bar like that so 
So let's see if I can hold it like that. And then you've got the four mark switches here to give you uh, north, south, east and west. And then if you're doing it between, you can do both those or both those or both those or both those. Um, so it's got this metal pole that goes through the centre of the joystick to make it nice and strong. So these switches are they're sort of clicky. But not brilliant. That one's really ropey. And then that one is not too bad, but they really do feel like they're quite old now. So, the idea is, although this one's actually pretty good, I'll replace them all. So, I'm going to do that off camera because I can see this is going to end up... Oh, actually, hang on, no, I can do it like this. I can get my arm round the tripod. So, I'm just going to replace them one by one. It's the perfect one for one replacement all of the fixings are the same just have an extra connection that we don't need so i will do this on camera and then i will speed it up so that you don't have to sit through me faffing around with it Okay, so it's all wired up now. And just test them. They're all doing something. And it feels an awful lot better already. So I'm just going to put this bar back in, hopefully the right way. this back together. Yeah, as I said earlier, there's the top of the posts that hold the switches in, go into the holes in there, so that makes it quite strong. just noticed is looks like there's a date stamp there so this was 1988 okay so I've worked out why it's not going together so there is a difference between the old and new switches and where is the switch the old switch had a connector there this one's got this quite big lump coming out here 
and this molding here is hitting it it's not sitting down correctly so I've got the choice of either removing that which is probably there for a good reason and bending that slightly so I'm going to try bending that I think see if I could do that without breaking it okay so I've bent this around a bit and I think it might just go past that now I'll tell you what this cable is an absolute pain it just pops out the whole time these back in do that up oh I'm not used to working around a tripod put these back in down in a bit once I've worked out to use the tripod <laughs> guess why the fire button doesn't work So annoying. Right, let's try the other ones. Oh. Oh, that's just so much better. That's really good. No more fighting against the joystick to get the lights to come on. Right, I'm going to fix this. So. Obviously, I will speed this up. You probably noticed it. You probably noticed that I hadn't put it on. Right. I have fought with it again. And it's back together. Hopefully, that's the last time I have to deal with that wire for a while. Screw it back up. Put these in. My shaky hands. Right. Cruiser power play joystick, new micro switches. Let me wind this down again. To 
there. Sorry, I'm still trying to learn how to deal with this. such a nice action on it now. I'm really, really pleased with that. It's worth buying new switches for. Let's wind it up to three. Yeah, I don't think I'm heavy-handed enough to use a three setting. 